Oh, Michelle! How are you doing, Vasti? It's been getting hot recently, right? I can't be the only one thinking that. I've been having trouble falling asleep at night. But it actually wasn't so bad today. There's a nice cool breeze going on and everything. It looks like it's going to be a very comfortable night. I might actually get some rest. Oh, hey, Emily. Uh, yeah, nice weather. Do you think we can talk about this tomorrow? Whoops! Were you about to head to sleep? Sorry to message you so late. But something really good happened today, and I can't wait to talk to someone about it. And the moon, the breeze, the atmosphere, the whole universe right now is just perfect. What do you think? Pretty poetic, right? Uh, sure. It didn't rhyme or anything, but I guess it doesn't have to. So, you have something important you want to talk about? Jeez, what's with that nonchalant tone of yours? You're no fun. I thought you'd be more excited. Sorry, but like you said, it's late. I was hoping to sleep soon. I just said something great happened to me. Doesn't it pique your curiosity? Aren't you just dying to hear what it was now? I mean, I'd probably rather hear about it tomorrow if it's all the same. Are you serious? It's pretty late and I have to wake up early tomorrow. But like I said, I'll be happy to hear about it tomorrow. Anyway, have a good night, Emily. Wait just a moment! Come on, Michelle! Don't be a downer right now, this is exciting stuff! We can go over all the fine details tomorrow, that's fine. But I consider you a good friend. I want to at least give you the broad strokes before I announce it to everyone at work tomorrow. So I'd really appreciate it if you could perk up a bit and listen. What? You're going to announce it at work. Okay, you've got my attention now, I have to admit. I have no idea what you could need to announce at the office. Jeez, you're so slow to catch on, Michelle. You really have no idea what kind of news would be so big that I might need to announce it to the whole company? Oh, not really. Wait, are you quitting or something? No! Well, not yet at least. <laughs> Who knows what the future might bring, though? Hmm. Then are you getting married or something, maybe? Bingo! It took you long enough. I'm gonna get married. Like, for real! No way. Is that really true? Congratulations. And what a crazy coincidence, too. <laughs> anyway, congrats. Hmm? What do you mean by coincidence? Someone else is getting married, too? Actually, never mind. I don't care. I'm too pumped about my own impending marriage right now. I've got so many things I want to tell you still. There's more? I mean, I know it's exciting and all that you're getting married, but it's still late. Yep, of course there's more. There's tons of stuff I want to tell you. Like about the person I'm marrying. Why don't you give me the details tomorrow, like you said? Or is that part of the announcement? Is it someone I know or something? Exactly. It's someone you know very well. Someone from work. You might want to sit down for this news, actually. I think you're going to be pretty shocked. Oh, God. It's not Benji or something, is it? Ew, no! <laughs> Come on, Michelle, be serious. <laughs> I don't know, then. I'm marrying your boyfriend, Will! Huh? Wait, hold on. Will? What do you think? You're surprised, aren't you? Did this news rock you to the core? I know he hasn't mentioned anything to you, so I imagine this must come as a shock. But in matters of the heart, we have to just follow our instincts, and both my instincts and Will's lead us to each other. That's why I'm feeling a bit sorry for you. I imagine you probably still have feelings for him. Of course I have feelings for my boyfriend. There's no way he proposed to you, though. Are you sure we're talking about the same person here? Of course I'm sure. You think I don't know who Will is? I mean, kinda. So you're telling me that Will, my boyfriend, proposed to you and now the two of you are engaged. That's impossible to believe. I don't think Will is close to you at all. I know, it must be really hard to hear this all of a sudden. But to tell you the truth, Will and I have been dating for a long time now, and it looks like you've been totally clueless. But it's really only natural for us to get married considering how long we've been dating. I hope you can understand. 
I mean, it's not like you guys were serious. Uh, what? Okay, um, hold on just a moment, Emily. I'm really having a hard time trying to understand this. It's alright, Michelle! I understand! It must feel like your world has just been flipped upside down. I mean, one second you have a boyfriend and the next second you have an ex who's engaged to another woman. But sadly, this is reality, and there's no choice for you but to accept it. Will chose me instead of you, and I'm going to be his loving wife. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. I know it seems like I might have stolen him or something, but the heart wants what the heart wants. Uh, sorry. Could you actually give me a moment to check with Will himself and confirm whether this is true or not? Yes, of course you can. Use as much time to sort this out as you need. I'll be waiting! I'm back. Sorry it took a while. And Emily, about this whole marrying Will thing, he's completely denying everything. He says he's never even gone out with you, much less proposed to you. Just what is actually going on here? Huh! <laughs> Michelle, you really don't get it, do you? Of course he's lying to you! I really don't think he is. It's obvious that he would lie to you about this in order to save face and not make you feel so bad about it. But I'm telling you that this is happening for real. I mean, he's even gone to HR and notified them about the engagement and everything. A friend of mine who works in HR told me they saw him there. Huh, your friend told you. Yes, I know her just as well as I know you, so of course I believe her 100%. Do you want me to send you some screenshots? Well, I don't think you have to go that far. I'll grant you that you seem very serious about this. But actually, I already know that Will went to notify HR. That part is definitely true. Alright, I'm glad we're on the same page. It seems like Will is finally opening up to you. That's good. So now you see that he's chosen me and your relationship is finished. It's time to just accept things and move on. Um, actually, I don't think there's anything I really need to accept. But I think you need to get some things straight before you go and announce anything at work tomorrow and confuse everyone. What do you mean? Why would anyone be confused? Well, because actually, Will went and told HR that he and I are getting married. What? Yeah, he proposed to me and I said yes, so he informed HR. I'm sure you can understand how that makes sense, considering... We're actually dating? We've actually already told most of the people at the office about it as well. I just didn't see you today or we would have told you as well. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with you, but it seems like you're confused or this is some kind of weird joke or... Yeah. Queen, what? I was going to invite you to the wedding as well, but I'm going to have to have a think about that now. I hope you'll understand. But wait, hold on. What? So you're telling me that I was the one that got tricked. Will lied to me. No, honestly, I don't think it's like that either. I don't think Will has even talked to you at all. Are you really sure you haven't mistaken him with someone else? Like, are you really 100% sure that we're talking about the same person? I know who Will is, okay? The Will I'm dating is definitely the same Will you're dating. Okay, if you say so. But he's saying he definitely didn't ask you to marry him. Of course, it's really just your word against his, but like I said, we announced everything at the office already. I don't know why he would propose to you right after. Actually, why don't you call your will and go over things with him? It might be best to ask him a few questions to be able to get some facts straight. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that. Hey, Will, you backstabber, did you trick me or something? Whoa, what's going on? What are you talking about? I'm talking about our marriage. You said you went to notify HR about the marriage. Yeah, I did actually. So what are you talking about? How is that tricking you? Well, I talked to Michelle yesterday. She said that you actually notified them you were going to marry her. Not me! What's the meaning behind this, huh? 
Huh? You mean you talked to Michelle about us? I wanted to brag about our marriage, so I texted her yesterday. But then she told me the two of you went around the office and told everyone you guys were getting married. What's the meaning of this, Will? I need an explanation. Does this mean that you tricked me into believing that you proposed to me and decided to stay with Michelle? I can't believe it. How could you tell me that you love me and then do something like that? That's real love, you know that? Hey, calm down for a minute, all right? Jeez, why did you straight up tell her about this? Seriously, nothing good comes from acting without thinking. Huh? What do you mean by that? You do know that there's the thing called timing, right? It's way too early to start bragging to Michelle. I haven't even talked to her yet. Don't give me that! Is it true that you told HR you were marrying her? Yes, what do you expect? It hasn't been the right time to break the news to her yet. I can notify HR that I'm marrying you while I'm still technically dating her. Think about how crazy that would look. The important thing is that they've been notified. We'll update their information later, got it? Not really. And what about going around the office and telling everyone that you're getting married? But I honestly didn't do that. Did it ever cross your mind that maybe Michelle lied to you? I mean, do you remember seeing us going around and talking to everyone? All I did was talk to HR. But Michelle said that you went together. Speaking of which, did you get any texts from her or anything right after she and I talked about you about the whole confusing mix-up thing? Michelle said that she talked to you. What did you talk about? Uh, I really don't remember. But whatever she said to you, I'm sure she just wanted to look cool in front of you, so that's why she lied about everything. She wanted to make you jealous, but it was all lies. Oh, God. I should have known. I mean, I knew she was going to be bitter and jealous, but it never occurred to me she'd just flat out lie like that. Oh, holy crap. I was so worried. <laughs> You jumped the gun bragging to Michelle, and she turned things around on you. You always jump to conclusions so easily. I'm sure it wasn't that hard for her to trick you. That's so embarrassing! It's okay, it's all cleared up now. Now, I want to tell you something about the wedding. What is it? Well, I know I've already proposed, and you've already said yes, but I just want to reassure you. Even though it's true that I've been slow to talk to Michelle, I'm just waiting for the right timing. But please remember you're the one that I truly care for. You are the most important woman for me and the only woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Oh, Will! I'm so sorry for doubting you. Michelle just confused me and I got the wrong idea. It's alright, you don't have to worry about it. But please be careful not to spread this or try bragging in front of anyone else or there's probably just going to be more confusion, okay? Alright, I got it. Love you, babe. Hey, Emily, I'm sorry to bug you during your lunch break, but do you have a minute? Were you able to figure out what happened with the whole mix-up thing about you and Will? Oh, that, yeah, sorry for not getting back to you. You really got me, you know that? What do you mean? I mean, you really had me going, thinking that you and Will were getting married. But I talked to Will and he confirmed it for me. It's me that he loves. It's me that he's marrying. Wait, are you serious? You talked to him and he told you that he's going to marry you. Yep. There's no way I would have mistaken him for anyone else. Everything is just the way I thought it was. So, if you really think you're marrying him, it looks like you're the one who's confused now. But that doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense, Michelle. Will loves me and we're getting married. He even confirmed that he went to HR and told them that we're getting married. I kind of feel sorry for you, actually. That's why it took me so long to get back to you on this. Now you have to feel that sense of loss and heartbreak all over again, just like before. It is only natural that you want to believe that Will lives to you, but you're really going to have to accept it this time. Will is going to marry me. 
I mean, I understand what you're saying, but none of this adds up at all. You're clearly still confused here about something. You're not gonna fool me again! It's time for you to just accept the facts, Michelle. Well, the fact is that Will and I are already married. We got a little spooked by the conversation I had with you before, so we went down to the courthouse with a friend and just made it official. What? There's no way! You must be lying! No, I assure you it's true. We have a marriage certificate and everything. What about the wedding? You just skipped having a wedding so you could one-up me? It's not about one-upping you. But you freaked us out, so we thought we should make it official. We'll still have a wedding later. What? What the hell? Sorry, I guess. But I keep on telling you, I think you got the wrong person. There's no way you're together with Will. And you really shouldn't even try now that we're married. If you do try and steal my husband or something, I'll probably have to sue you or something. Sue me? Come on, don't even joke about something like that. Well, to be fair, you're the one who keeps messaging that you're secretly engaged to my husband. So, I don't know if you're really in a place to tell me to quit joking with you. But seriously, I think you should just stay away from Will, or we're gonna have to do something. You're just trying to intimidate me! It won't work! You wanna sue me for dating your husband? Then bring it on! I don't believe he's really your husband anyway! Calm down, I'm not gonna sue you. I don't think I'd have much of a case considering that I don't think you're actually even dating him. Anyway, could you thoroughly check with your will to get the facts straight? Whoever it is that you're engaged to or talking with, it's definitely not my husband, so let's get this all cleared up. Don't you worry, I'm gonna talk to Will right away. This whole thing is ridiculous. There's no way he's actually gonna marry you. Sorry, can't talk right now, I'm busy. Actually, aren't you supposed to be working too? You don't usually take your lunch break at this time. Don't try to play coy with me right now, Will. There's something that I need you to explain. Oh boy. Michelle told me that you actually went to the courts and got married. What the hell is the matter with you? Come on, you really went and talked to Michelle again after what happened last time? Didn't you learn anything? She messaged me this time. Now, stop avoiding the question. Is it true that you guys went and actually got married already? Weren't we the ones supposed to get married? Emily, please calm down. Let's not get hasty again. No, I think I have had enough of you. I'm headed over to you right now. What? I'm sick of all these games. It's time that we talk this out face to face right now. And you're going to explain everything to me, or I swear to God we are through. Hold on a sec. Just hold on and calm down for a second. There's no way for me to calm down, especially when you have been deceiving me. Again. You're the worst. The worst. How many times have you backstabbed me now? Every time I turn around, there's another knife. First, you're prancing around telling everyone you're getting married. Now you're actually getting married? It was supposed to be me. Just calm down. You're confused again. I didn't marry her. What? But... She's lying again, obviously. You didn't see us announcing our marriage. I'm guessing you didn't see any proof that we're married, did you? Well, no. It's because we're not. There's no way I would marry her when I already told you that I'm going to marry you, Emily. But Michelle said that... I bet she's just trying to act all cool again, to make you feel inferior to her. Jeez, you must be the most gullible girl in the world to keep letting her get you so mixed up. So, that's what's going on? Oh my god, I feel so stupid! I thought that you betrayed me again for sure. But actually, Michelle was still just jealous and trying to keep me away from you. I mean, right? Who goes and gets married secretly before they even have the wedding? It's so obvious now. She must have panicked, realizing that she had lost you. Yeah, that's probably what happened. She was just jealous. So please try not to let her fool you so easily again, all right? Thank you so much, babe. I've calmed down a bit. You're right. It's not good for me to jump the gun. This is getting too stressful for me. 
Honestly, Michelle is getting pretty ruthless telling you this kind of stuff. This whole thing is really getting out of control. By the way, do you want to meet up next week? Let's go out to grab some lunch and catch up on some things. Yes, I would love that. We can also talk about our wedding, right? Yeah, of course. We can talk and I think we can have some fun too. Anyway, I have to get back to work, but I'll make sure to call you later. Of course. I'll be waiting, babe. Hey, uh, so you must be excited for your honeymoon, huh? Oh, hey, what's this about my honeymoon? Tomorrow, that's when you plan on having your honeymoon, right? Yeah, sure, my honeymoon is tomorrow, why not? What about it? Will is really excited to go on the honeymoon, with me. Really? This again? Emily, we've had the wedding, it's over. More importantly, where in the world did you get information about our honeymoon? From Will, of course. How could I spend the honeymoon with him if he didn't tell me about it? He told me he's going to ditch you at the airport and then the two of us are off on our dream honeymoon. OMG, I can't wait. It's so exciting. The most romantic trip of my life and it's going to be happening soon. You've really gone off the deep end now. I don't know who you're talking to, but seriously, the jig is up. Did you not see any of the pictures of our wedding on social media? I can't bring myself to look at some sham wedding like that. It's too pathetic. I think my heart would just break seeing you in a white dress pretending to be a bride. Okay, wow, I don't even know what to say to that. Anyway, rest assured, Will won't be ditching me at the airport and we're gonna have a perfectly splendid honeymoon without you. Oh, Michelle, this is really just too sad. If I were you, I would just cancel my ticket now, you know? Maybe you can still get your money back. Or is it just that you really want to be a third wheel while Will and I enjoy ourselves? No way do you want to see us get all lovey-dovey in front of you. I mean, that's alright with me, but wouldn't that make you jealous? That's it. I don't think I can stand this drama any longer. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait until tomorrow to see how things shake out. But it's been working out pretty well for me so far, and I'm feeling confident it's going to continue that way. How's it been going for you? Shut up! Will and I are going on our dream vacation. You'll see. I think we'll all see that you're very confused. Enough! I won't let you confuse me anymore. I hope you're looking forward to tomorrow. I'm looking forward to see the stupid look on your face when you see me and Will boarding the plane together. Okay, we'll see. Well, I just arrived at the airport. It's gonna be so fun today. Our first ever Hawaii trip together. I can hardly wait. Let me know when you get here. I'll be waiting near the check-in area. Michelle, what did you do to Will? I've been waiting here for hours, and he hasn't shown up. He's not answering any of my messages. What did you do to him? Did you tie him up? You coward. You better answer, or I swear to God, I'm going to make your life a living nightmare. Give me back my will this instant. Wow, drama queen much. Anyway, even if I wanted to help you, I can't at the moment. Since I'm already in Hawaii with my husband. Huh? Yeah, we left on the honeymoon yesterday, sorry. Your trip is today though, right? I wonder where your will is. Wait, what? Well, I guess I can't blame you for being so surprised. Anyway, how about we sort out this mystery once and for all? I think it's time we bring everything to light and put this whole crazy episode to rest. What mystery? The only mystery I want an answer to is what you've done to Will and when he's going to show up for our trip. I'm currently stuck at the airport right now, and you're just spouting some mystery stuff like you think you're in a detective show? Well, to be honest, it all feels like a detective show to me, and I've got all the answers. First up, the reason why no one has come to meet you is because the honeymoon that you decided to crash was actually cancelled. Cancelled? What do you mean cancelled? Did you guys get divorced? No, I told you, I'm already in Hawaii with my husband. Keep up, Emily. What are you 
talking about then? Well, the honeymoon that you were intending to go on was Will Maxwell's honeymoon, right? Will Maxwell, the head of sales. That's the guy you've been seeing this whole time, right? Of course! What point do you think you're making right now exactly? I'm confused. That's what I thought. I was right all along. This whole time we've been talking about different people. I'm not married to Will Maxwell. My husband is Will Parker. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. Time out for a moment. I don't know any William Parker. There's only one Will in sales. Do you know a Parker who works in sales? Oh, right. His name's not really Parker. His last name is Parker. Everyone calls him by his last name because Will Maxwell has been there longer and it would be a bit confusing to have two people called Will. But I call him Will, and so does his family and all of his friends. That makes sense. But hold on, why did my Will say that he was dating you? I don't know. I think it's likely he never said that, though. Yes, he did. He even admitted to notifying HR about marrying you. Are you sure? Or did he say that he was dating Michelle Decker from accounting? Oh, God. What the hell is going on? What's going on is that you apparently completely suck with names or knowing what's going on around you. I told you so many times that you clearly had the wrong person, but you just wouldn't listen. Yeah, I guess I have been told that I tend to jump to conclusions. Seriously? But come on, he was dating a Michelle, you were dating a Will, it just made sense. And come on, two Wills and two Michelles? You have got to be kidding me. Yeah, it's a bit crazy, but again, could have been cleared up with even the most basic investigation. Whatever. So if you're on honeymoon with Will Parker, where the hell is my Will? He's not here, so it still means he was lying to me. Well, yeah, that much is obvious, isn't it? It sounds like you knew very well he was supposed to marry someone else. What did you even see in him? He told me I was the only woman for him. Oh, Emily. He was just whispering sweet nothings and fooling around with you on the side, all the while planning to marry another woman. That scumbag! That's the spirit. Anyway, the good news for you is that he and Michelle Decker are having a bit of a relationship crisis as we speak. Really? Yeah, of course. After all, I messaged her the other day to let her know all about what's been going on with you and him. She was quite understandably upset. It seems the wedding and the honeymoon are off. What the heck is that? Why am I hearing about this now? But if they've broken up, why isn't he here with me right now? It's the perfect chance. You should take that up with him, not me. Considering he wanted to marry her though, and not you, I imagine he's probably ghosting you and begging her for forgiveness or something like that. That son of a- Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wash my hands of all of this now. After all, I am on my honeymoon. Good luck with everything. You can't just go now! You need to help me! I'm a victim! No, I'm the victim here. How many times did you bother me with this whole situation just because you couldn't be bothered to figure out who your boyfriend was actually engaged to? Think of all the stuff you said to me. You said I should give up on my relationship and that my husband was lying to me and really loved you. That was all really messed up. I'm really sorry, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm still a victim too. You could have some sympathy for me at least. You should consider yourself lucky that it wasn't actually my husband that you were fooling around with. There would be hell to pay if it was, believe me. Okay, I got it. Anyway, I want nothing more to do with this whole mess. You've bothered me more than enough with it. Just deal with it on your own. And now that I've seen your true personality, I honestly don't want anything else to do with you. So from now on, our friendship ends here. Why, Michelle? We were good friends, weren't we? It was all just a misunderstanding. I admit that I got carried away, but I was being tricked by a scumbag. Can you please forgive me for this, just this once? No. I already forgave you the first time you bothered me with this. I told you to get your facts straight, and you just kept bothering me. Now, we're in the middle of the honeymoon, so could you please not bother me anymore? Good riddance. Wow. 
After that, the situation between Will Maxwell and his two women became a huge problem around the office. Of course, word had spread that Michelle Decker had called off the wedding due to Will Maxwell's infidelity, but the real icing on the cake was Emily's reaction. As soon as she showed up to work the next Monday, Emily actually attacked Michelle Decker, accusing her of kidnapping Will and preventing him from going on vacation with her. Needless to say, the police were called and apparently Michelle jumped at the chance to be able to press criminal charges against the woman that had ruined her wedding. Emily was taken away in cuffs, all the while screaming about how Will Maxwell really loved her and they were meant to be together. I don't think I need to mention this, but Will Maxwell never showed up to visit her in jail. He never showed up to the office again, actually. Will Maxwell resigned, too ashamed to ever show his face again. On the other hand, the rest of my honeymoon with my Will was absolutely amazing. It was everything I ever wanted and we are as happy as can be. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. See you next time.